Right, I thought it would be useful for us to go through the Edexcel physics specification just to make sure you know exactly what's expected of you and what you've got to learn for your exams. The government might make an announcement that in 2021 the specification is going to be slimmed down so you don't have to learn everything in the book. If that is the case then I'll redo this video. That's not important for students, that's just letting you know what's changed from the last specification. I'll put a link in the description for you to download the specification yourself if you want to and then either just keep it as an electronic version or print it out for yourself. Here's the contents. Okay, there's just a loose introduction. I'm not going to read over these. If you want to look at it, then you can just pause the video. That page is just for teachers, really. Right, that gives you an idea of what you're supposed to learn for paper one. All the different topics here. This is what you should be learning. That paper is on for one hour and 45 minutes and it's 50% of your qualification and it'll be worth 100 marks. You'll also have to sit a paper two. That is one hour and 45 minutes. That's the other 50% of the qualification. It's another 100 marks. And these are the topics that you'll be tested on that paper. And this is the triple physics, not the combined physics. Subject content, that's just for teachers really. More stuff for teachers. Practical work, well, you probably haven't done much practical work this year. So the required practicals, you just need to know about them rather than have been able to do them. Right, there are some topics that are common to paper one and two. So you need to learn this because they'll be on both papers. Right, this is just the topics for paper one now. Now what I'll do, if there's any requests for it, is I'll go over each topic and I'll explain what each of these mean. There's more for topic two. And you need to know these as well. Anything in bold is higher tier only. Right, this is what you've got to learn for topic three. Topic four. Topic five. So pause the video and have a look. If there's anything that stands out to you that you, you don't know about, make sure you find out about it. Don't leave any gaps in your learning. Here's topic six. Topic seven, astronomy. Now, these are the topics for your paper two. So this is topic eight, energy forces doing work. Topic nine, forces and their effects. Topic 10, electricity and circuits. Topic 11, static electricity. Topic 12, magnetism and the motor effect. Topic 13, electromagnetic induction. Topic 14, particle model. Topic 15, forces and matter. And here's just some assessment information just for teachers really. That will be useful for you to make sure you know what's going to be on your paper one of course. I've already went over that. There's your paper two and the topics. That's assessment objectives just for teachers really. Admin, this is just for teachers. Anyone that needs special consideration, there's some information there. Malpractice to make sure no one's cheating. 
These are the mathematical skills that you're supposed to have learned. Now this is important. Here's all the equations in physics. Now you need to be able to recall and apply these equations. You won't be given any of these equations in the exam. You've got to learn them off by heart. I've got a nice video on my channel that goes over all of these equations. Here's some more that you've got to learn off by heart. Pause the video if you want to have a look at them. Now these will be given to you in an exam. So you've got to be able to select the correct equation and be able to apply it. You don't need to memorize these. And there's one more. Here are all the standard units that you're expected to be aware of. There's all the names down there with the units and the abbreviations, so that's useful. Now this is useful. The following table lists the command words used in the external assessments. So when you go in your exam, sometimes a question might say, can you add a label? Or it asks you to assess something or calculate something, comment on, you know, describe. This is what it means. This is what it's asking you to put in your answer. And there's some more. You know, a lot of people don't understand the difference between explain and describe. So hopefully with this document now you do. Operators and techniques. So things that you should be able to do. Core practicals. And then this is all just teacher jargon at the back. Some information about the calculator that you should have when you go into the exam. And that's that. So I don't know how useful that video will be to you, but I am going to give a topic by topic breakdown if there's any request for it. And that will be useful. So make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon. Make sure that you don't miss my future videos at this very important time. Okay, bye for now. Work hard and be nice.